The long-term fuel trim, basically it is going to be following short-term. So it is a percentage of injector on time, as is short-term, and the range is the same, positive or negative, 10%, within a window of acceptability, but if we see 20 into the 30s, we're gonna set the mill. Long-term fuel trim is an indication of engine conditions overall over the course of different driving conditions. And those driving conditions are stored into what's called memory cells, and that is in non-volatile NVRAM, what's random access memory. In other words, you turn the key off, most vehicles are gonna maintain those numbers that either were updated two minutes ago or two days ago, when we got into that parameter of either the mass airflow blocks, how many grams per second, under these conditions, we set a fuel trim update. So we looked at the short term for a period of time and then went to a longer learned fuel variation called long-term fuel trim, plug that in, and when you clear that from memory or do a battery set, you will have new numbers. So more on that coming up. Long-term fuel trim cells are stored under different operating conditions. As I mentioned, it could be mass airflow parameters or it could be an XY graph we'll look at later where we look at load versus RPMs. 